Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, so today I'm gonna put you guys onto the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I talk about it all the time, but I feel like I haven't expressed my love enough on YouTube. I wanna show you guys how to use it, and I'm trying different combinations every day to figure out what works the best for combo slash oily skin because I know this is a very glowy product, but I want everybody to be able to try it. So today we tried out a pretty good routine. I will leave you guys updated down below on how it wears throughout the day, but if you guys want to be put on to this, just keep watching. I'm trying to perfect a way to use it so that every skin type can use it, if that makes sense. Also, e.l.f. just extended their shade range, so that's amazing. I still don't think it goes dark enough, um, but the shades do stretch. Like, this is the original lightest shade they came out with, and I can use it when I'm fair and when I'm tan. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with this Embryo Lease matte moisturizer and you can get this on camera ready cosmetics i'm not sure where else you can get it i'm not gonna lie i don't really know but i love this stuff so i'm gonna focus this in my t-zone because that's always where i get like oils breaking through i don't really have issues with oils coming in like on the perimeter of my face so i'm not too worried about that i was using my milk hydro grip and i love this but i don't think it does a good job at keeping your oils at bay at all Step two is to go in with like a more heavy duty matte primer. I'm actually using the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. You guys have seen me use this before and I actually stopped using it because I felt like it was making my foundation too matte. Like my face looked too powdery. So it almost did too good of a job and you guys know I like to be glowy, but for the sake of combo slash oily skin girls, I think that this will really help longevity wise is Tati. Tati Westbrook, what the hell is she doing now? I used to be like a religious watcher of her, but I feel like I just haven't been keeping up with her literally at all. I think, I think like a month ago I saw her channel and it's still doing good, which is amazing. But like, are you guys still watching Tati? Is that still a thing? The next step is to spot conceal. So if you guys have never used this or you're not too familiar on the product, it is called a glow booster for radiant skin. This is supposed to be a primer. So it has very, very minimal coverage. Like you're not gonna get a lot out of this besides the glow, but that's what I love about it so much. With that being said, if you guys need coverage, you're gonna wanna do it underneath and you're gonna wanna do it first. So I like using the Rem Beauty Concealer. You can use whatever full coverage matte concealer that you have, especially since we're trying to keep oils down, make sure it's matte and it's not a dewy concealer this one right here the Rem beauty one i only like for spot concealing or carving out my brows i do not like using this under my eyes it's giving very like the it cosmetics in the black tube very thick or tarte maracuja it's such a thick consistency it's actually ridiculous but i do love it for spot concealing everything underneath because i feel like it really stays in place and it doesn't move like look at this the coverage is awesome. This is the shade Light 5N. So I'll always do around my nose. Because not only do I get redness there, but for some reason my makeup tends to come off faster. Since this concealer dries down pretty fast, you don't have to wait too long. You don't have to wait too long to go ahead and blend it out. And I'm taking this tiny little Real Techniques brush that I love so much. And I'm really just kind of like tapping over the product to make sure... It's a little bit blended, but overall the e.l.f. Halo Glow is going to really make everything come together. So you don't have to worry too much about completely blending it out. It's definitely going to look a little odd when you're looking at your face with just the spot conceals. Like it's going to look like tiny little spots all over your face. But I'm telling you, once we put this over top, everything is going to come together so beautifully. Oh shit, that almost just fell out of my hands. Almost completely fell. So I have combo skin and I always get oily like around my t-zone So I'm going to avoid putting this in the t-zone you guys have seen me You guys have seen me in the past like put it on my nose and all literally all of my t-zone But we're not going to do that today because we want to keep it as matte as possible And we're really just going to let the concealer under our eyes work for the coverage in the middle I'm going to keep it lower on my cheeks on my forehead, but I'm gonna kind of do like this moon sort of eye <laughs> so to keep it away again from the center of my forehead. And I always do a little bit down like in this area of my face. I think I've told this story before, but one time in high school, I was outside with my girlfriend and I looked at her face, she had foundation on, but the, 
but the only place she didn't have foundation was like right here it is such a random place that you can easily miss so i always try to make sure that i put foundation there and i don't forget so now that we have this all over our face we're gonna take a foundation brush i believe that blending this out with the brush is the best way to go since it does have such a light coverage we're trying to get the most out of the products okay and brushes will do that for you sponges will give you more of a like soft blended sort of appearance you guys know if you guys are not new here you guys know i'm a brush person i always will be i think that they give you the prettiest finish and you get the most out of your product like maturing is realizing you don't need that much concealer or that much foundation and i'm just like that's never gonna happen to me and once i tried this out it happened to me i was like oh this is what everybody was talking about huh all right we're gonna do bronzer first because i tend to go bronzer heavy this is or the tarte sculpt tape this is like the charlotte tilbury dupe thing and it is in the shade cool bronze Whoa. what you in your face. i know so satisfying huh this is the morphe m449 and, okay let's start by saying that this is the shade cool bronze but it's not that cool like you would expect it to be gray toned or just like very like cool undertone but it's not i would say it's a little bit more neutral and lately i have been liking my bronzer to look super warm very warm so we're gonna go in with the makeup forever um ultra hd skin palette as well just to kind of like bring that warmth back in it's also really good for the nose i don't know what it is but it just works on the nose so well it's very liquidy it's not this is not a heavy product at all so if you guys are looking for something that feels like skin you guys would be obsessed with this can you guys see like how much warmer that is okay besties now that we're gonna move into the concealer part we're gonna be using these two concealers i love these i have a lot of favorite concealers but for today since we're trying to keep it matte we're gonna go with these we're doing shape tape creamy in the shade medium sand and also the original shape tape in the shade porcelain beige this one is a lot more matte creamy version a little bit lower on our face right here this is going to give that coverage that we need in the center of our face since we completely basically like ignored it and then this lighter shade is going to go kind of like in the inner corner here and blending it out and we're going to let this dry for like a decent amount of time because we want everything to be kind of like an ombre sort of vibe and we want it to go like lighter darker skin tone bronzer and then blush so we're gonna let that sit down for a second also i'm doing this again purely for aesthetics for instagram and reels so if you guys are obviously doing this at home just use the concealer straight from the bottle you do not need to get like a brush and let's go back in with our p louise blushes you guys know i have done a review on this no, they're not my favorite. I use them actually a lot. I go back into my makeup kit and pick them up pretty often. This is in the shade Melon Mood. You guys hear the sound of the sponge? So gross. I don't know what it is about blending your blush out first and then your concealer. Maybe it's because we like let the concealer set for a little bit longer too. Um, I don't know, girl, but it's the vibe. You guys have to try it if you haven't. I used to do my concealer first until I tried Karyat's technique. This one is a lot lighter. I don't know. I love. I I still wish it was like more pastel, but that's okay. It's okay. Let it sit. I feel like with these P. Louise blushes too, if you let them sit, they get a little bit more pigmented. So maybe that kind of will help you guys. So this is the first shade of concealer that we're blending out right now. And I don't know if you guys can just see like the immediate ombre effect girl Cariad really did something a way more detailed brush so this one right here is the morphe e8 that's what i use to blend out the more skin tone color now we're going in with a smaller brush to really keep that lighter concealer shade exactly where it's supposed to be and not move it around too much because if we were to go in with a big brush and just kind of like i was gonna say like whip it all over our face there would be no points in layering all of these different shades so since we put in all that work picking out our perfect shades we're going to put in the work with the brushes since we let that concealer sit for so long it literally like almost solidifies in the place that you put it 
and you barely have to blend it out where at and i feel like i kind of like learned that too especially with shape tape if you put it on your face and then straight away go in and try to blend it out it's gonna create a huge <laughs> mess on your face and you're gonna have so much concealer and product trying to like work around each other and it's honestly a mess so i think the key to at least shape tape is really letting the concealer sit on your face also with the makeup by mario makeup by mario concealer it's kind of the same vibe now, I do not know what you guys are waiting for. It is a beautiful detail brush. You guys need detail brushes in your life. I swear it makes such a difference in your makeup. I truly believe that your makeup only comes out as good as the tools that you're using. Always, I always go overkill with the bronzer. So what I did is I grabbed a little bit of this mixture that I have from under my eyes in the first place. And I just placed it right underneath where my bronzer is. You guys can see that. Uh, that line right there and i'm taking my foundation brush and i'm going not only on the line but a little bit over it as well just to kind of blend it into this bronzer blush sort of area if you guys want a super matte long lasting powder you guys want to try out the lunar beauty powder i love it so much the one that i have is actually pink toned and i'm not wanting like a super pink under eye today so i'm just going to go in with the iheart revolution peach powder we're going to blend out any of the creases i've said this before i'll say it again if you do not blend out the creases before you set your concealer you're literally just setting creases in into place and you don't want to do that so we're going to take a toilet brush and we're going to use this to set under our eyes first so that way we're not using a ton of product on top of each other because we're, we're gonna go in with a full coverage under eye powder and i don't want it to just start getting like powder on top of powder on top of powder i'm really making sure to set down in this t-zone area and around my nostrils here as well because makeup always collects right there this is going to be your secret weapon for your under eyes as you guys can see i already did this side this is the maybelline super stay full coverage 16 hour foundation powder and i have the shade 102 it is super light this is actually my pale shade when i have zero self tan on we're gonna take a little velour puff and we're gonna go right in where we originally put that porcelain beige color and we're gonna set this right on top of there to really enforce that light shade and i'm gonna kind of let it sit there while i finish the rest of my face and yesterday i did this too i super fluffy brush like this this one is from makeup forever it's the 160 straight and wavy brush you guys can see how like wimbly it is and i took a blotting powder this is the fenty universal invisimat blotting powder and obviously i usually keep this in my purse and i use it for touch-ups but i was thinking what if we put it on now and maybe it'll kind of keep the oils at bay before they come to the surface you know how whenever our hair is like freshly clean and we'll put dry shampoo in our hair to kind of like be proactive and keep the oils down before they even come up i was thinking maybe the blotting powder will kind of do the same i will have to keep you guys updated and let you know if it actually does make a difference but i feel like in my head i feel like in my head it's making sense bronzer wise you guys know i love my matte give me sun but this is a mineralized skin finish meaning it has a little bit of radiance to it there's no shimmer or glitter but it definitely does appear a little bit more luminous a little bit more luminous on your face so we're going to go in with a matte bronzer i'm just going to use hula by benefit you guys know this is one of my tried and trues did you guys see the raw beauty christy drama um i saw that peter mon is that his name i'm not really sure um i think he's like a commentary person i'm not too sure so take that with a grain of salt but he made a video that says robbie christy you are the drama and i watched a little bit of it but i got distracted and like my what's that called my tolerance level for watching something for too long what is that called but i think it's because she's like still supporting james charles with like how big her um audience is i'm not too sure let me know if you guys know about that or like what's really going on I have no idea but i love to stay like updated in like the beauty drama community just to know like kind of what's going on tell me how beautiful this bronzer is it's so good hula by benefit will forever be like one of my favorite bronzers we're gonna go in with a little fluffy brush like this 
and run some on our eyelids and a little bit on our nose just to kind of make everything cohesive and bring all of the colors together because you guys know i do not put anything on my eyelids like eyeshadow wise or concealer foundation i don't really put anything on my eyelids i just let them shine through like their natural color and it gives me a little bit of definition naturally so i want to just kind of bring all the different tones together i've also been running it up into my brows just a little bit i haven't done this in so long because one time i did it it's like when I first discovered that you can do that with like nose contour and I went crazy and I just remember like looking back on pictures like girl please like for the blush we're gonna go in with one of my favorite shades this is from the brand flower nose I've talked about it here before on my channel I'm obsessed with this I think this is from like the mermaid and sirens collection this is the shade coral jellyfish and truly I feel like in the beginning I was just using this because it looks pretty and like the embossing the aesthetic of it all but the more that i've used it i realized that i actually am obsessed with the color it's such a soft baby pink flush of color it's not too much and especially for me i can tend to go overboard with blush especially when i'm applying it with a velour puff it gives it so much more pigment so i like something that is not too intense and this one mm, honestly it's creeping up there and like my favorite blushes ever okay i already started applying it but you guys i feel like you can see just how soft the color actually is and i really go can you guys see how much i've used of it can you guys see the difference look how good that looks we definitely do still have to blend out that under eye powder so you know i forgot to tell you guys i'm gonna be at beautycon this is my first one ever i don't know why i've never been to beautycon before but if you can't wait i have dreamed about going to beautycon since i still lived in arizona i remember working at mac talking to my coworkers about beautycon and now i literally live right next to it not right next to it that's a lie but you know what i mean like i'm in the same city as beautycon and i'm going invited by brands do not forget to clean off your jewelry whatever's on your face on your ears if the nose stud that i have is from a store called piercing universe and all i looked up is flower threadless nose stud and this is what came up i love it so much but since it is threadless i do not take it out it's kind of like a more permanent piece of jewelry it's really nice and it's lasted a long time i replace it about every six months i would say just because sometimes i lose the little diamonds that are inside of there but yes take a makeup wipe wipe that off because you don't want your jewelry to look dirty you want it to be nice and shiny we just put all this powder product liquid everything so it's bound to get in your face jewelry or even on your earrings make sure you wipe that off i'm not gonna lie to you guys i did add a little bit of my favorite blush this is revlon wild about violet i put it a little bit in this section right here just because i felt like my under eyes looked so bright i love a bright under eye but they were looking like like okay relax a little like that's a little intense so this is what we're working with I just finished my lip combo and I feel like this actually looks pretty good. You guys know, well, yeah, I feel like I use the same lip stuff all the time, but that's just because what I love is what I love. Okay, so we went in with the Essence Cinnamon Spice. Hopefully you guys have bought this. I, I've got a lot of DMs of you guys showing me that you bought this and you're obsessed with it. So I'm so happy it works for you guys too. And then I added two soft matte lip creams from we use Cairo. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And Instant Bowl in Instant Bowl instable am i saying that right basically one is super nude like very very nude super light and neutral if you guys like brown tone nudes you guys would be obsessed with this color but you guys know i'm into those pinky shades so i use a little bit of this one right here I like a bubblegum pink too pink for me like i feel like it's leaning a little amateur for me so i like to mix these two together so i decided to mix these two together and i feel like it came out super bomb obviously it's a matte sort of situation i usually do end up putting a gloss on top just for comfortability but wear in terms of how these wear it's definitely going to last longer if you wear a matte combo the last thing you guys can do to really 
try and hold on to hope that this is gonna last long and not be super glowy throughout the day is use a setting spray. This is the Locket Setting Spray by KVD. I'm obsessed with the Urban Decay All Nighter. That is like my go-to. That is the only setting spray I've ever used that actually makes a difference. So if you guys are looking for one that's long lasting and also oil controlling, try that one, Urban Decay All Nighter. If you guys are super oily, try the D-Slick version. That one is like insane, but today we're gonna use this and I definitely do see a difference with this one too Just not as much as the all-nighter. Mister on this one is super fine. Like as you guys can see and For longevity purposes, you could go back in with a little bit of the blotting powder and just make sure everything is nice and matte and set down Other than that, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this I hope I taught you guys a little bit of something. I will leave you guys updated in the comments down below and let you know how this wore throughout the day i'm going to be trying different combos all the time to see what works the best but i really just want you guys to try out this elf halo glow because it is so bomb and i need everybody of all skin types to try it out because it's that bomb i remember when i was first trying out like skin tints and lower coverage things i was super intimidated because i'm so used to full coverage i'm like there's no way girl like me and light coverage it's not gonna happen but Whenever I developed this routine and technique, I feel like it really helped me step outside of the full coverage realm and my makeup looks so bomb and it still looks filtered. I get compliments all the time, whether I'm wearing full coverage or something of less coverage like this. So I really want to challenge you guys to step outside of your comfort zone and try something like that. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have bought this because of me or if you guys have any recommendations on techniques that you guys want me to try next. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.